So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Sam Houston State Bearcats and the Virginia Commonwealth Rams. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Rams should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Secondly, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. And lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Coach looks on, focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Can't get the shot to go. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got... He rejects it. <laughs> and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And sinks it. Post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Number three is feeling great right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. He's going nowhere. Ball no, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. For the bucket, in and out. The point guard takes the pass. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Number 22 gets the pass. And he scores despite the hack. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The point guard with the ball on the outside. Moving it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. The power forward gets the ball. Ten seconds to get it off. He'll regroup the offense. There's the pick. There's the roll. Number four is pounded on his way up. The Bearcats are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. And there they miss one. He misses it. He gets the board. Inside. Going to come down inside. Nobody rotated down from up on top. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. 
looking for contact. He shows the sweet touch. On the outside. For two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. From way outside. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Glad I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. He fakes the shot. There's the trap. Good fake. Goes up for two. And in and out. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Basket falls despite the contact. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Looking to move it the perimeter. Nice fake. Step out on that screener. Gave it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, he forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to pack it inside. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Working it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Fed the low block. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two, and off the mark. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Number 15 draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Hits the first shot. Misses the second. He grabs the board. Got a nice screen. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For the bucket. And he missed. They're working around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Blocks the shot. Oh, my goodness. That was unbelievable, baby. And he'll kick it back outside. The power forward takes the feed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man.
goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Got some room. He tries the three. He buries the shot. Been moves not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Passes out, wants to get better post position. Will take the shot. Sinks the shot. Team now, bad angle. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. The Rams have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They really make bad decisions, and you can trust them on a the court. In space, and that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He drains it. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Off the rim and no good. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. That's a 7-0 run. Gave it up. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Side. Controlling the ball. They clear the defensive rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. They work the perimeter. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. On the outside, has a nice look at the basket. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground deck. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. You betcha. He makes the block. Shots there if he wants it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. Number four makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad.
Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Well, the arc looked good. He takes the board. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Top of the circle. He gets the bucket. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from outside. Can't get it to go. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Working it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. Sam Houston State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. On the outside. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. <laughs> Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Let's it fly. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get on the floor. <laughs> Tries for two. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. He looks at the hoop. Number 44 with the fake. For the bucket. And in and out. Jump hook from the low post. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. with a jump hook. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Number three is pounded on his way up. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the first. Got them both. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Dick, he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Anticipation defensively.
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. Goes up for two. The Rams have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. There's a double team waiting there. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Nick. And he's close with his team there with him. Number 55 gets his first action tonight, Dick. You ask me, Brad, this kid could easily be a starter. He'll go to the line. Concentrate. Got to concentrate on our free throw line. Routine. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Great play to take that to the basket. from the top of the key. Way off target. Look at that space. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Up and inside. For two. Perfectly executed. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. He unloads a three. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Turns it over. the outside he shoots from the top of the circle he couldn't get it to fall and a momentary look from three-point land and the bricks just keep on coming baby we have to start looking for some easier baskets here Dick. at halftime the ram trail by five Virginia Commonwealth is showing little promise from the field in the first half. And, Dick, you got to wonder if more of that is coming up in the second half. Hey, do you think the coach is screaming a little bit down there in that locker room about shot selection? Coaches don't tolerate bad shot selection. He'll make sure it doesn't happen two halves in a row. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron.
The shooting guard receives the ball for the bucket. And he missed. The point guard receives the pass. For the deuce. We'll run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Let's put a uniform on. Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. With a little baby hook. Can't get the shot to drop. The shooting guard handles the pass. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. For the bucket, no good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. High post screen. Goes. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number 24 draws the personal. He goes to the free throw line. Makes his first. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Stolen away. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes the foul shot. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Gave it up. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The turn of fadeaway jumper, and in and out. The point guard handles the feed. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Shoots from right of the circle. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. That shot was definitely ill-advised. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. 
tries for two. Virginia Commonwealth are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Doesn't go. With the fake. The fake. For two. I tell you, there's a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. For two. How many bricks did we see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? He lets it fly. He gets the shot to fall. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player to attack the basket. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And the ball goes out of bounds. In the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work the perimeter. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. They'll work it around the arc. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For the deuce, drops the bucket despite the harm. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The Bearcats are trailing by six. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. He gives him the fake. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Pick 
picked off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For two. And in and out. Check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. With a block. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Steal. Fakes it. It's stolen. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Perfectly executed. Intercepted. On the outside, picked out of the air. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he scores despite the hack. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the outside. He pump fakes. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? He tries the three. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. He bombs from outside. Got it. The Bearcats trail by nine. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Moving it around the perimeter. That's basic. He takes the three. Way off target. Pull-up jumper from way out. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Number 23 checks back in. Hey, yes, sometimes that quick breather can be the difference, Brad. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Trying to stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding the basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. He 
He intercepts it. Number four, it's mediocre play has really gotten to him. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. Takes away the pass. They're off into transition. Number 22 makes a great move to draw the foul. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. Number 24 re-enters the ballgame. Quick blow, he's ready to go. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets his first. his second looking for a good shot Dick how's he working him defensively I tell you he's trying to front right now you've got three concepts you can play halfway you can play behind or in front they've decided to play in front which means you got to get help some Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Jumped in front to take it away. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the key. He misses it. For the bucket. He went right through that double team. Hey, let's see if they decide to double next time down. Kicks it out. He shoots from the top of the circle. Virginia Commonwealth are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the key. They work the perimeter. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. From right of the circle, rims out. Basket falls despite the contact. Brad, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the deuce, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. The Bearcats have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. There they come with a double team to stop it. Gave it up. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. And he missed. Dump it inside. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts a jump hook. Rims out. Dump it inside. Shoots from the outside. Off the rim and no good. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Sam Houston State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Picks off the pass. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. 
for the bucket. Doesn't go. For the deuce, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. The ball goes out of bounds. I think the shot seemed to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing they're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? Block shot. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He shoots from the top of the circle. Tickles the twine. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from the top of the circle, misses from three. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Goes up for two, rims out. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the trifecta. The shot's off target. Moving it around the perimeter. With the big shot, he got it for the win. You talk about gutsy and confident. Oh, what a huge shot. Shot of the ball game, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, he's a btp -er, a prime time performer. He's big man on campus. What a shot at clutch time. Win, win, and win. Oh, the dancing with joy. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on, one team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Sam Houston State is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.